This is what it's all about, is prayer. And that is what this family is. It's real. It's the real deal. So I personally thank you from the depths of my heart because I feel like Relevant Radio. It honestly saved my husband's soul. This is the best of the week on Relevant Radio. Now, sometimes life surprises us with an unexpected and a sudden death of a loved one. It's uh, very difficult to live through something like this, but God sends us His grace and opportunities to love Him and to trust Him and to seek His will for us. Our next guest uh, went uh, through that. In fact, uh, her husband uh, just passed away unexpectedly about a week and a half ago, and her uh, father passed away on Christmas Day. And uh, uh, while trying to find the goodness from God in this situation, uh, she saw the impact and the the beauty and the power of prayer, especially uh, from the relevant radio family. Joining us live uh, this morning is a regular contributor to uh, Morning Air, Kendra Von Esch, uh, to share her testimony and, and talk about her experiences during this most difficult, uh, difficult uh, time. Uh, Kendra is a speaker. Uh, she's a faith coach, a podcaster who's passionate about sharing her faith and her supernatural transformation and spiritual experiences while helping others on their journey as well. Kendra, thanks so much uh, for being with us uh, d- during uh, this so difficult time. Oh, I am so blessed to be here. Thank you so much for having me, John. And I cannot wait to share with the audience and listeners what happened during this horrible time in my life. Just a reminder that my father also passed away on Christmas Day after a long two-month illness. So that was trying. And then basically January 7th, I buried my father. And February 7th, my husband passed of a what they call a coronary blood clot, where it just took his life. I know you've heard the phrase, don't have a coronary. That's kind of exactly what happened. And he was taken very quickly from my life, very unexpectedly. And I did not get mad at God. I just turned to God and I took my mom's phrase, let's look for the goodness of God in this. And you know what? I reached out to you guys. I reached out to Gabby, the producer of your show, and she shared with the family on morning air, and I had my phone light up. It happened to be Monday. I asked a priest to have a private mass for me and just him, for Jeff and my father, and it was at 3 o'clock, the hour of mercy, right? The day, the hour that the Lord was crucified and died. And we all know that Drew has that beautiful show in the afternoon at three o'clock. And I had no idea, John, what you were going to do. But you reached out, and I know how busy that show is with how many people are trying to get on. As a matter of fact, back in my early part of my journey, probably about seven, eight years ago, I called Relevant Radio. And I called Drew's show, and I got on. And I was so excited because you know why? I knew that there were hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people that would be praying for me and my intention. So what you did, John, was bring myself and Jeff to that show. And then Father Rocky also had us on the rosary that night. My phone started lighting up from all of the listeners out there that somehow know me or reached out to me through social media or my followers. And I was so I just stopped and I just cried and I just was so grateful because the following day I felt those prayers in my morning prayer because I'll be honest with you, John, I had not sat down and done morning prayer because I really wasn't sleeping much. I was just taking sleep when I could get it. And so that Tuesday I felt spiritually and physically the prayers of all of the relevant radio family and this is what it's all about, is prayer. And that is what this family is. It's real. It's the real deal. So I personally thank you from the depths of my heart because I feel like Relevant Radio. It honestly saved my husband's soul. And so for that, I will be forever 
grateful and in, in debt to you. What can I do to help? How well, can we help you? <laughs> Kendra, you, you are so courageous just to come on uh, literally the day after uh, the funeral of your husband, Jeff. And just, you know, again, I want to just emphasize here publicly, I know I've, I've shared it with you in private, uh, uh, our condolences on behalf of the Morning Air team and, uh, the, and everybody here at the network uh, for the loss of your husband, uh, Jeff. We really are a family. And so when I heard about the passing of your husband, uh, immediately I needed to contact uh, Maggie uh, and Drew uh, for uh, the Chapel of Divine Mercy and make sure that those prayers were magnified uh, throughout the network. There's so many tens of thousands uh, who pray and uh, we needed to put it in the Lord's hands. And I knew that was the only thing I could do. And I was so happy to be able to just be uh, just a, an instrument, like a, like a pencil in God's hands uh, to bring those uh, uh, prayers for your husband, Jeff, to the world uh, through uh, the beauty of uh, the Chapel of Divine Mercy. And on top of that, you came all the way from your home to the visitation. I could not believe when I was hugging someone and I saw you over the shoulder. I was like, oh my gosh, then Gabby came later that night and Sarah came to the funeral yesterday and your wife was there. I mean, this is Cindy, by the way, in case anyone doesn't know who Cindy is, a beautiful person, a wonderful friend. We got together way, way, way back when. I, again, am just so blessed. And I want everyone to know that the people that work at Relevant Radio are the real deal. And I'm not just saying this now. I actually spoke at the Relevant Radio luncheon back in 2019 in February you could go on the internet and search it, just Kendra Von Ash Relevant Radio, I think. And I say the same thing because I know Father Simon and I know Father Rocky. And I'm just like, look, they are the real deal. Linda Ruff and Carol. And I mean, just oh, amazing. Thank you so much for doing what you do and being who you are. And we all have to support this because single handedly, I again believe that this family has really helped me on this journey and there's nothing like that that's what it's all about is loving thy neighbor and you guys live that so so wonderfully well kendra we just so much appreciate uh, the heart that you have uh, for Relevant Radio, and you're a part of the family, and that's what we do when we're family. It's not just a slogan, you know, that we use for the pledge drive, join the family. We really are a spiritual family. We do pray for each other. There are tens of thousands of prayers that come pouring into this network, and we really try to pray for every single uh, one of, of, of the folks, and so uh, this is uh, what we do here at Relevant Radio, and I just got to tell you that uh, I'm so uh, amazed at the sense of peace and joy that uh, that you have uh, shown uh, when I saw you in person and just uh, in your voice and just the, the, the courage and the grace that you have. The Lord has given you in dealing with this such a difficult time to lose your dad and your husband in literally, what, 32 days? Right, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is God. He is working in, in amazing ways. And that is what I want everyone also to know, that there is hope. That's not just a slogan either. I mean, we really have to have hope in God's goodness in the worst scenarios of our life. I have people in my family talking about faith, people in my family considering going back to the Catholic Church, people at the table. So last night at the reception, some women came down from Minnesota and Wisconsin. Just the love was amazing. And they were sharing with me the conversations that were happening at the table. And it was about going back to the Catholic Church. How beautiful the Catholic funeral was and the homily. It was very touching. And so it's amazing to see God working. And I feel that my new mission is to get out there and help everyone remind everyone that prayer is so important. And that is something that you at Relevant Radio help people with all the time. It's the relationship that's the most important in our life. So, so very important. So what I'm going to ask everyone who's listening, if you're feeling in your heart that you want <laughs> Relevant Radio to be on the next level, let's all give, yes, from the heart, but let's make it hurt a little bit. You know, let's not give from our prosperity and the, the extra stuff that we have. Let's actually dig in and make it hurt because you know how much Relevant Radio has helped you. That's why you're listening right now. 
That's why I'm here. I We all just want to help everyone get to heaven. So let's dig deep into our pockets to help that keep going. And then we can just evangelize through this beautiful radio station. Kendra, it sounds like uh, you have read Mother Teresa at some point in the past because she used to say, uh, give until it hurts with a smile. And uh, I can just picture your your smile. You, you're always uh, smiling, always uh, joyful. Um, but it has been a very, very difficult uh, time here uh, recently. You, you came on the show in January to talk about praying for your dad. Now uh, you, of course, are going to be praying for your husband, Jeff. Yes. Now, I do want to confess, because this is what I do. I'm vulnerable. By the way, I have a little podcast that I do every day. It's 10 minutes if you really want to hear every single day what's been going on. But I will tell you that God communicated to me, basically telling me that he took my husband because he needed me to pray for him. And it came through somebody else's prayer. So I took it into my prayer and I was like, oh, God. What does that really mean? And in the end, I wasn't really praying for my husband. So I went out on my podcast and said, oh my gosh, everyone, we have to pray. And then there were many, many women that I talked to over these past few days that admitted the same thing. You know, I pray for my kids a lot, but I don't really pray for my spouse. So I really think that that's a reminder to all of us that we need to pray for them while they're here, but we also need to pray for them when they're gone. And that also goes for all the rest of our loved ones who have fallen away. And John, this is why I think God prepared me for this, because I was doing a purgatory series on my YouTube channel. And I'm like, this is all, I I truly believe God has me. He set me up. I've been praying for months at 5 a.m. in the morning. I mean, I really do think he has me right where he wants me in his hot little hands on this on this item, and now I think I have a mission, which is pretty cool. Well, Kendra, we put our loved ones in the hands of the Lord and His infinite ocean of mercy, and always keeping in mind that uh, all things uh, work for good for those who love God, uh, as Romans 8.28 reminds us. Uh, Kendra, thank you so much for being with us. You're so courageous. Uh, Many, many uh, blessings. Our, Our prayers are with you and your husband, Jeff. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Everyone, dig deep, right? Make it hurt. And I just want to say, God bless all of you. Have hope in the goodness of God in every situation you guys are facing. Thanks so much. Uh, Morning Air contributor Kendra Von Esch, a faith coach, a speaker, podcaster, and author. Like what you just heard? Share it with your family and friends. And thanks for listening.